Yeah, I think so. so like that. I had a strange one, because I have so much technical dialogue and so many multi-syllabic words that are just like, blah, 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 that usually I'm pretty good. On the first episode back this season, on Founders Day, I could not, for the life of me, describe what Founders Day was. And it was not a lot of big, fancy words. It was like, it celebrates the founding of Eureka by Einstein. It was like something that simple. I think well, it was like three times that, but it was the simplest thing, and I could not do it. And I was getting all flustered and weird, and I was like, have I been like out of the game this long that I can't even say anything? I'm gonna like, I, to see if I can even remember it, because I saw the episode, and I remembered that scene in that day, and I started sweating, and I got all like <laughs> embarrassed. And I was just like, oh, that was the day that I couldn't say that night. Something like, you uh, Founders Day celebrates Einstein's founding of a haven for. I, no, I don't want it. Yeah, to but that's not sound. That actually sounds really twisted. Like that sounds like very backwards. Yeah, but that's like me doing it really backwards too. It was a, yeah, it was just uh, it was one of those days where I was just a horrid, horrid actor. I don't actually have a lot of technical jargon that I have to try to spit out, but um, I've noticed that. See, the problem with. Um, the problem when you do a, a TV show is that they'll give you stuff like that to say, and if you can say it, they'll give you more. <laughs> you think I'm joking. So I don't know how to say it, and I don't ever know how to say it. Poor, poor Because the thing about my character, stuff. I know, the thing about my character is I, I don't think, like, I realize that it, it doesn't hurt for her to be intelligent, but I really like that she's, I like that she's the brawn in the show. You need to have a bit of that. They're, they have the geniuses, and I don't think, I think that the balance between Carter and Joe having that sort of down-to-earth, you know, everyday person attitude and having that, um, sort of, I don't know, that sort of dialogue that we, that we have, I, I kind of like that. And I, I don't really want her to, to start becoming, you know, really articulate and... I don't want that. I actually like that my character mumbles jumbles words together, and you know, it's just that's that was one of the things that I appreciated about my character. I don't mind saying big words every once in a while, but um, mm -hmm. you know, that's a good word. Huh? Oh. No, but you know what I mean. Though? Yeah, no, I do understand. It fits with the character a lot. It more fits with the character just, a lot, and they keep trying to the short, the short to the point. Like that's the character. She's not going to sit there and like over. Um, you know, over explain things like me right now. Uh, <laughs> did that answer your question, sort of? I feel like that we went high, like high bar, especially in the book. But you know what? Our writers are actually really great about it, allowing us to, to be, to, as long as we're really, you know, staying true to the point of the, the line, then. Yeah, they'll let us, they'll know, let shift us, words around and make it sound. Because sometimes people can't just 